Good morning. Welcome to Monday Morning Roar. Today is June 26th, 2017. I'm standing here right now. I'm at, I guess it's called White Point Bluffs Park, and I'm overlooking Royal Palms Beach right down below me. And I'm going to give you a little view of it. I don't do all, let me see if I can switch the camera around here for you. Give you a little panoramic view of it. Beautiful place here. The, one of the nicest things about this is, is this is probably the coolest, one of the coolest spots in Southern California. And when I say cool, I don't mean just like hip and in style and, and great like that. It's literally a little cooler because we've got ocean breezes. We're up on a cliff, as you can see, a seagulls flying by. It's, and it's cool because it's beautiful, but it's it's a little bit cooler. We, my wife Donna and I, were here over the weekend when it was like 85 or 90 in parts of LA, and it was probably about 68 or 70 standing at this point. So this is the place to be when it's when it's warm. It's also a beautiful place to to look out and just think about the the beauty of Southern California and how lucky and how fortunate we are that we're we're here and we're able to enjoy this now i'm going to switch it back but i'll put it in my background here all right here we go so today i really want to talk about change it's interesting last night i was watching on 60 minutes they were talking about artificial intelligence Artificial intelligence isn't really anything that's really new. It's been around for quite a long time. But they were really, it's really developed. I mean, it's, even though it's a disruptive type of change in itself, it's done a lot of changing anyway. Artificial intelligence, I think by definition means that it's, but it's, it's not just a computer. It's a computer that's actually learning and being able to give information and be able to not just spit out that information, but to be able to, to reason and, and make decisions based on that information, not just like a like doing Google. When you Google something, it just spits out any information it has. It doesn't give you an opinion or, or make decisions based on that. And I think artificial intelligence goes that next step. So it's kind of interesting. And in a lot of ways, it's, it's very scary. In fact, I'm sure that a lot of people watched that last night and, and in a lot with a lot of fear, knowing that, gosh, Computers are taking over our world. What's what's next? What are we going to do? And how are we going to handle that? The beauty of it is, is that that change is something that we we deal with all the time, and it's something we we need to know that we're going to deal with, and we can adapt to change and grow with it, and we can change ourselves. I'm going to ask you: Is there anything that you're doing right now that you need to change? Is it a habit? Is it an attitude? Is it is it something as as simple as your your eat what you what you eat for breakfast every day, or or how you get dressed in the morning, or what your regular routine is? Is it something that you and you know when you go to change something like that, it's uncomfortable. It's a lot easier when we just fall back onto our habits. We let our subconscious mind dictate what we're going to do, but. But, th but does that really ever get us anywhere? I mean, yeah, it gets the job done, but how do we progress in life when we're, we're just doing the same thing we've done every day? So challenge yourself. Accept change. Don't change just for the sake of change, but if you can see there's a better way to do something, don't be afraid to make that change. I know that when people think of, of this artificial intelligence, they go, oh, this is terrible. It's a... And there's probably bad ways that it can be used, but there's also a lot of good ways that it can be used. There's a lot of good things that can be done with it. And, and imagine the same fears we have or what they had 100 years ago when they were, people were talking about flying to the moon or even to imagine that, that right at this time, right at this moment, there's probably a thousand jet planes flying across the country with hundreds of people sitting inside that are going at 35,000 feet above the above the earth and going 600 miles an hour. And just imagine what the people 
a hundred years ago would have thought if you'd have told them that's what we're going to do. They would have said, no, that's crazy. I mean, they were having a hard time with, with horseless carriages and people being able to travel at speeds faster than 10, 15 miles an hour is what the horse would, would get you. I mean, now we have freeways that have speed limits of 70 and people think that's not fast enough for them. How is it that we, we've made these changes, we've re, we reject the changes, but then in the end we learn that overall it's probably going to help us. Oh, sure, it'd be nice if everything was nice and simple and, and life was how it was when our grandparents were alive and, and we didn't have computers, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have social media, we didn't have all these distractions and, and Twitter and all this stuff that it's getting our minds and texting and all that. But just think how much we've gained by that, by learning what goes on in the world. When something happens, how we're able to noti be notified. I mean, right now, if there's a if there's an Amber Alert, which I don't know if that's nationwide or just California, but if there's an Amber Alert, I get my phone notifies me and I get to see that and, and there's a chance by letting everybody who has a cell phone know that there's somebody out there who's done something wrong and they're trying to find them what a great way for them to find people and that couldn't exist before cell phones I mean all these there are great benefits to, to all kinds of technology that's just that's just one of them I mean yeah there's a lot of bad things there's a lot of bad guys and I know all we hear on the news is about how the the hacking and the our, our elections and the Russians and all this stuff, but there's also still a lot of good things and there's a lot of good reasons why the technology is is really a positive things for us. And that's a change. We have to be able to, to, to be able to make a change in order to survive in this world. If we don't make a change, we're gonna die. I mean it's just gonna be die right off. It's just not gonna we're not gonna get anywhere. We're not gonna succeed to do anything. You've got to be able to be willing to make some changes. So that's the thought for today. Today is Monday, the 26th of June. I had a wonderful walk this morning. I got about seven and a half miles in before nine o'clock Pacific. I've had a cup of coffee with the guys at the corner store. It's, a, it's just been a real good morning. Now I've got a full schedule of, of, a, of assignments I've got to work on this week. I've got a good number of them I've got to get done today. So I just wanted to to start the day out with this Monday morning roar and, and please join me every week 9 o'clock a.m. on Monday morning you can visit me right here on Lions Strategic Consulting Facebook page I'm also going to see if I can share this onto my regular Facebook page and, and get some other people to come into it but looking forward to, to speaking more with you having some great talks on different topics and I'd like if anybody who has has a comment wants to suggest we'll talk about what we'll talk about next time let me know until then make a change this week just and it can be small it doesn't have to be big but make a change and see how how it affects you make it make sure it's a positive change something that's going to affect you positively maybe get more sleep maybe eat healthier maybe get rid of carbs or whatever it is it doesn't really make any difference it's the idea that you're able to adapt to that change make a change and see how that feels and if it works for you, then you might want to make another change next week. Again, you can reach me at blyon at lionsc.com. Let me know if there's any topics you'd like to talk about on the Monday Morning Roar. Um, I'm, going to give you, I'm going to give you one more beautiful view of where I'm at, and then I'll close out. Here we go. I'm looking east now. beautiful seedling trees. I'll pan slowly. You're going to see over here out on the satidal pools. You're going to see a couple fishermen over here in, in orange jackets right in front of me here. A little bit of a, a cove here at the park. And all the way up and you can see the, the hill up there and uh, Palace Verdes, the house is on top of the hill. I don't know what those round, I don't know what kind of towers, what, what they are exactly. 
It's a beautiful day. It's right here at White Point Bluffs Park overlooking Royal Palms Beach in San Pedro, California. Good, good day and have a wonderful day. Have a great week.